expect. Willie, Dennis, a very good evening to you. Uh, what, what is the latest in that county? All right. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Stanley Nyaringita. It is indeed a sad evening here for residents of Naivasha and especially those uh, flying the Naivasha Nairobi Highway. As you can see, just behind me is a wreckage of an act. 7 p.m. today in the evening where a trailer that uh, lost its brakes uh, that was using this road actually hit this vehicle before uh, diving into a ditch, uh, costing the life of its driver and its conductor. Uh, those who are aboard uh, these vehicles are actually uh, in critical condition, taken ill at the Naivasha District Hospital with a myriad of questions as to why this happened and who let actually this trailer use the A104 trunk road as compared to the rules and the regulations of the Kenha where supposedly they are supposed to be using the Mutarakwa, Maimahi, Naivasha and then back to the A104 after Naivasha Road. But uh, with me I have uh, the disaster management uh, uh, officer of uh, the sub-county of Naivasha and uh, the MCA in charge of infrastructure who, is, who are going to be letting us know in brief what this is all about madam bring us up to speed just uh, face this way bring us up to speed on exactly where we are in regard to today's accident and uh, thank you very much my name is uh, joyce Mcheche, uh, chief officer disaster management and humanitarian assistant nakuru county here we are here at naivasha uh, kayole area where we had a very unfortunate accident that has occurred involving a trailer and a pickup that was coming from Nairobi. Unfortunately, we have lost life and we are yet to know the exact number of those who have injured, those who have, who, who have died, who have died. So, what we don't understand is how that big trailer used this road. We are yet to know which authority were, were they using so that now they can they, they were not able to use my Mayo road and to use this road. Understand that the, the trailer lost breath all the way from Kenongi uh, and when it reached around this area, it was not able to control the vehicles ahead of it and it ended hit mm. the pickup. Mm. Uh, we, are, we managed to put out the fire. Our firemen were here on time, but uh, unfortunately we had lost lives. Our ambulances came here, they have taken patient to the hospital, those who have been injured. We are yet to know exactly the number of who are dead and the number who are injured. Mm. But uh, our team at the Naivasha Subcounty Hospital and at uh, Naivasha Police Station to know the exact number of those who are died and those who are in the hospital. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much, madam, for your time. Uh, bring us up to speed, sir. Uh, we are made to understand that you are in charge of road and infrastructure yeah. in the uh, assembly. Yeah. So, how comes that we have trailers using this road and uh, with such incidents? Okay, thank you. My name is uh, Francis Mungai Kuria. Uh, I'm in charge of uh, road, public works, and infrastructure in the county. It's so sad that uh, we have experienced a bad accident here involving a trailer that. Uh, was coming from the port of Mombasa heading to uh, the northern corridor and uh, it's unfortunately or it's like uh, the driver of the trailer was not aware of the this road uh, very well the reason uh, why I say this I passed this trailer along Kinare Road and it has uh, created uh, some traffic uh, I stopped along flyover and then uh, I later came to find uh, it has caused the accident here. Uh, it's somehow re the driver, why I say the driver was not uh, very well aware of this road. Uh, the body cargo has loaded uh, heavy products, uh, that is uh, the building materials and some uh, machines. And uh, it seems uh, as the road is so steep, uh, the brakes were unable to control the weight that was on the body cargo, of which uh, when it was approaching uh, uh, the Naivas Mall, it was uh, able to hit the, this pickup on the backside, of which uh, 
the trailer lost control and uh, unfortunately it fall into the ditch 500 meters just where the bus from Pumwani uh, caused the accident and uh, if by any chances this truck was unable to pass where it has caused this accident uh, we could be have we could have been talking another story because it cause it could have caused more dangers ahead eh? so as, as we wind up because of the essence of time sure what should be done on this road it is actually very fatal bearing in mind that uh, this is a road that approaches the escarpment and down to the rift valley okay uh, we are aware that uh, this road, uh, there have been proposals that it's going to be uh, upgraded to a dual carriageway. So, number one, we need the expansion of this road, of which we are aware, but we don't know when it, the work is going to commence. Uh, uh, we need to expand this road such that when uh, the heavy trucks that are coming from Nairobi heading to Nakuru, in such an instance, uh, the, the truck can use the inside rain and uh, it will not cause the accident. So we are appealing to the government to fasten this process of starting this uh, road so that we can widen up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. And indeed, uh, gracing the, this uh, opportunity to have uh, bring us up to speed on what it is. Uh, Stanley, there you got it. Uh, what happened? Actually, we have the locals just behind me uh, uh, who witnessed what happened here. But at least we have got the authority they are speaking on what happened. But uh, the fire brigade was here in time to ensure that they have uh, uh, subdued any advent of fire incident that had actually shown up because uh, this vehicle was uh, uh, carrying some uh, um, flammables that is uh, paint that is just a uh, flammable and as you have heard there it is just a road where meters from here we had the Pwani accident just months back and uh, there is a need to ensure that this road is expanded and given high priority, especially on the 22 kilometers stretch from the flyover all the way to um, De La Mea, which is actually about 25 kilometers that there is need to ensure that it is expanded to avert such crisis as it happened on the other side of Salga. That is it uh, from me here in Ivasha, Stanley Nyeringita. I take it back to you in our studios in the capital city. And thank you for that, Willie Dennis, your appointment in Naivasha, just updating us on that accident that happened around 7 p.m. We'll be following up on that from Naivasha and giving you uh, updates as, as soon as they occur. Let's cross over to matters.